You know what's going to make Jesus look valuable? Is when, because of how precious He is to you, you sacrifice for the good of others so that it looks to them like you must have treasure somewhere else than in your stuff. That's the only way. It's going to look like they should ask you a question. What is the reason for the hope that is in you? Has anybody ever asked you 1 Peter 3.15? The reason they don't ask is because you look like you're hoping in all the stuff they hope in. How are you going to live a lifestyle that to the world doesn't look like a carbon copy of what they value? It's not impressive to be a good law keeper. What's impressive to people is sacrifice. Because sacrifice in the cause of love looks like you have a treasure different from the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and give glory to your Father in heaven. So there it is, right? That's what we want for our lives. We want to live that way. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and give glory to your Father in heaven. Now there's something mysterious going on there because a lot of people see good deeds and do not give glory to God. What's wrong? What, what's the deal? Here's the deal. When it says, let your light so shine, what do you think that means? Is that just equivalent to deeds? Here's what I think let your light shine means. If you just contextually read back, backward, back, back, back. Let's, let's go back, that's verse 16 we started. We're going back to verse 12 and then we're going forward. So here, here's the way it sounds. Blessed are you when men persecute you and revile you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my account. Rejoice! And be glad in that day, for great is your reward in heaven. For so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its flavor, it's good for nothing to be cast out and be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a lampstand that they may give light to all in the house. Now let your light shine that men may see your good deeds and give glory. Give glory to your Father in heaven. Now, in that train of thought, what's the light and the song? I think the light and the salt are not just the deeds, but the way the heart is working when the deeds are being done, namely, Rejoice in that day and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven when you are being persecuted. I'll tell you what shines in the world. You're being beat up. Beat up by circumstances, disease, job situation, beat up by people who don't understand you, don't care about you, don't like you, beat up in a marriage, beat up by kids who are walking away from Jesus, beat up in a church where people don't trust you anymore, beat up. And because you see the reward who is Jesus and the joy set before you, you don't murmur. You don't grumble. You don't criticize and do vengeance. You rejoice. Now when people see that, that's bright and salty. What is that? I've never seen that before. They've seen people happy with prosperity. The devil is happy when he's prosperous. But the devil is not happy when he's sacrificing because he's being beat up and his reward in heaven is so great that he keeps rejoicing in God and has some resources to spill over onto people in love when he's surrounded by nothing but trouble. That's the miracle that I call salt.
in the miracle that I call light so that when out of that, out of that you do some good deeds, people say, God must be real to this person because everything I see around them would incline me to get out of here, out of this marriage, out of this church out of this business, out of this relationship, out of this situation. I'm out of here! And that person is in there, faithful, gentle, kind, meek, long-suffering, patient, and happy, even when the tears are rolling down his face. The key to living an unwasted life, a life that counts, is doing the kinds of deeds, and oh, there are 10,000 of them, that will flow from a heart embattled by difficulties and resting in the supreme value of Jesus Christ, my great reward.